if I would have to decide what is more interesting for me, the engineering point of a loudspeaker or the um, yeah, music uh, point of a loudspeaker, then I would say it's 50-50. We always use these both worlds to make a perfect speaker in the end. Even audio is a good result of a wonderful teamwork. If you want to get an image from the speaker without room influence, then you need uh, simply an anechoic chamber. An anechoic chamber is a room with less echoes, so to say, from the wall. So we have a very uh, thick um, damping material. This allows us to measure a speaker in the microphone position independent from any room influences. Some people have um, also a strange feeling when they um, enter this room because light is dark and um, you have no sound effect. The brain starts to calculate something becoming more and more present if you are for a longer time in this, uh, in this room. The opposite of this room, so to say, it's the echo chamber. In a normal room, you have all these um, reflections from the walls. In this uh, room, there are no parallel walls, and the speaker is not only emitting in the front of the drivers, the speaker is also emitting energy around this complete cabinet, and all these energy in the end comes to your ear and um, will affect uh, the sound result. For us, it's always very exciting to have students here and for our students, I think it's very important to see uh, or to get an idea how speakers are working in the room. We normally explain um, the, the function of the speaker in an anechoic chamber and students can walk around and can uh, check um, what has happened and then the same speaker in the room sounds completely different. This is very surprising for the students how big the independencies are. And then after this yeah, kind of theoretical practical thing, um, we go in our showroom and to see here the speakers and they play some music what we have here. So it's an interaction. And they are asking us uh, a lot of questions and it starts a nice uh, discussion from different points of you so for both sides it's very interesting in the end it's an emotional uh, product because everyone who wants to listen speaker he gets immediately an, uh, an emotional reaction uh, if he hears some music he can dislike or he can like uh, this music but there is some emotion